In this video, I'll show you how to run a Snapchat bot that can add friends and also send messages automatically. So it's going to run in an Android phone. I'll show you how to set up on Android app and in Snapchat. And then it's going to go to add section, add a friend, send message, add another one, send message and continue like this. This way you can grow your Snapchat account and you can also promote your product or use it for whatever you want. But please, before starting, be aware that some of these automations might violate the rules of Snapchat and you have to go with very slow speed and also test them before starting or using these scripts. So let's get started with this. Here I am in a computer and all the links that you see here today are going to be on the description of this video. So you're going to find this script here that I'll show you now in the GitHub. Here is the Snapchat bot that can run and I'll show you how to run it. And also we have to download some things before. So let's get started. The first thing is to download Android Studio. I am currently using a MacBook computer, so it's going to be easier for you if you are using MacBook, but still it's going to be the same procedures for Linux and uh, Windows computers. So here I have to download. I have already downloaded, but here is a link. Just click on download Android Studio. We need Android Studio because we are going to run an emulator in our computer where you can install the Snapchat app and run the bot. So just go ahead and download the uh, from here and also just go to the VS code download so they have to download VS code but you can use any code editor you want and also you have to download and install node.js here is a node.js link and just uh, go ahead with the LTS version and also you have to install Appium I will show you later how to install Appium first download the code so go to the github repository click on this code here and click on download as zip so just click here and it's going to download it here and I have to go to find in my downloads I'll find the snapchat adder bot double click to extract and all the files should be here and I'm going to rename it I always like to rename them so snap snap bot I'll delete this zip and here I have it and also I'm going to move it on my desktop and I can close this now then what I have to do is to open VS code open VS visual studio code in your computer and I'll click on file open folder I'll open the folder and go to desktop and here I have snap bot open it and it should be all the files here then you have to open terminal click on new terminal new terminal from the menu and here I'll make a little bit large then I'm going to uh, type first make sure you have Python installed so just check by running Python 3 and it shows you the version Python 3.12 and I'm going to type a uh, control Z go out the terminal then what you have to check is node or npm just check npm v if you have installed successfully it shows you a number of the version so go back to the browser go to this link that you can find in the description and you have to copy this command npm i g appium so make sure you have copied and paste here and you have to maybe put the password if it requires your the password and it's going to install it but i'm going to stop it because i have already installed it and if i type appium here it will start the server and also you have to install UI automator so to install UI automator control C to stop this server go back to the browser and you have to click on install automator UI automator 2 driver click on this link scroll down scroll scroll until you see this appium driver install UI automator 2 copy and go to code here on terminal paste again press enter and this is going to install it but uh, as you can see I already installed so now I think we are good with appium and now we are going to create a new emulator and android emulator install snapchat on it log in our account and then we can start the bot so let's go ahead and do that so now let's open android studio that we installed for and if for the first time you have just to create a simple project can so here i have android studio and i just created a simple project that i don't really want to use but what i want to use is to go to tools and you have to go to device manager click on device manager and this part here wait i'll move my camera so here on the right you'll see this device manager here's device manager and you have to create a new device so click on plus button and here you have to choose what operating system you want or what phone you want go with any phone I'll I, I want with pixel 7 pro but you can choose whatever you want click on next then you have to download an operating system or an Android uh, OS you have to download one of these but I recommend you to install the latest one that has Google Play on it I have already downloaded 
downloaded and installed this version Tiramisu Privacy Sandbox, which is Android 14 version, but you can go with and whatever you want. Just if you want to install this Tiramisu here, I'm going to click this and click on download button. But I have already this and I'm just going to select it and click on next. Then you can I can put a name of this and just click on finish Then it's going to show here. So here I have Pixel 7 Pro and I can click this small triangle to start this virtual machine and then I can click it and it's going to connect with emulator and it's going to start my my phone as you can see is, is turning on my emulator or Android phone. Okay, here is my Android emulator as you can see and I have already installed two apps uh, Instagram and Snapchat but if you want to download any app just go to Google Play Store and download any app we want you want but for now we need only Snapchat app and just if I open it just click on it and it's going to open this Snapchat app and you have to make sure you are logged in with your account that you want to use for the bot after doing that make sure you have SDK installed to tools SDK manager and you should be able to have uh, SDK uh, downloaded here Android SDK and SDK tools and it'll show you the location so I'm going to copy this location here and I'll go to ADB so now let's go to the VS code here I'm going to go to snapchat adder.py file and here on these lines you have to put the version of your Android and also the device name so I'm going to show you how to find platform version and and uh, device name too so the platform version is the version you see here so it was Android for me it was Android 14 okay so the platform version was the number or the version of the operating system or Android version that I'm running and for me it was a 14 version and also the device name is I'm going to show you now how to find the device name to find the device name you have to go first to Android studio and go to tools go to SDK manager and copy this path the path where your SDK is then open terminal open I'm going to open a new terminal and here I'm going to move to this location so I'm going to type CD on in quotes paste this here I should have platform tools here's platform tools I'm going to type now CD platform tools here's platform tools and inside you should have an ADB so we are going to run this ADB and to run it just type dot slash ADB and type devices press enter and this is going to list the devices that we have and this is the emulator name mostly the emulator name is going to be same for all if you are using Android studio but uh, maybe it's different or you are connected with a physical device and if you connect with a physical device you have to run this and see your name here I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it on here Looks same so I'm going just going to save it click on save uh, control C and I think now we can run we can run this uh, script so I'm going to have here both the code and also the emulator I'm going to clear this clear and run this command so to run it just type first you have to install so to run it first you have to install the requirements so pip install pip3 install dash r requirements.txt here this is the command press enter okay now I install the requirements I'm gonna clear first I'm gonna type python3 snapchat adder py and this is gonna be the place where you put the message that you want to send what message you want to send to people so I'm just gonna type hi hi this is a test and I'll press enter make sure you have emulator opened and press enter and we see an error so okay so I think I forgot to start the server so I have to start the Appium server so just open new terminal and just type here Appium press enter and this will start the server and go back and run again the same command okay now as you can see it is going to install Appium on your phone and it's going to open snapchat and run it automatic for now uh, my account I don't have have the account that I want to use and is not going to show or start but if you already have an account logged in it's going to go ahead go through all of the process and add and send message add send message you can see the code also here you can also see the code here that shows you that is going to click on the header add friend icon then it's going to click on each ad and then open the chat and send the message open chat send message if you are a developer you can understand the code but for now I'm not logged in because I don't have and I don't want to use my account to send the bot messages I show you how to do that and the, all the projects that you need to follow up to run this script hopefully you like this video okay I think this was my last video about the automation scripts and actually how to run this type of scripts I think I mentioned it before the reason for this and also a community post and the reason for this is that because people just don't really understand this type of videos I think that if they run the script they are going to millions of dollars without doing anything just running the scripts some small problem 
happens, the expats need to be updated or something else need to be changed or I don't know, maybe they don't set up well. They just keep complaining, texting, this is not good, they dislike the video and stuff like that. These scripts that I just post here are only for mostly for developers that know have coding knowledge. They are more like ideas, like idea, not actually production mode scripts. They are not for the production. But anyways, I'm going to be uploading more content about how to make money, what methods that you should be using, well, methods like content creation, using AI and stuff like that. I also maybe videos about how to make money with cryptos. Hopefully you like this video. Make sure to like, subscribe to the channel and see you on the next video. Peace.